Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you every single room that can generate inside of the trial chamber structure. And so we're going over all the different types of chambers that can generate in the trial chambers. And so if you like manga videos like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more manga videos just like this one in the future. And so we're starting off with the entrance of the trial chamber. So there are three distinct entrances to the trial chamber structure, three different entrance rooms, and one of them looks like this. So there's two levels to this. There's this bottom level over here, where on the left there is this part with the hidden room behind this copper grate, where there is a door going into the secret room where there is a chest with loot. And on the other side of this bottom part there is a staircase going up to the main area of this chamber. And so this can be either an oak tree, a mangrove tree or a cactus. And then there's two chests over here and up here usually a vault spawns. And then there's also this trapdoor right down here, which you can enter and go back into the first floor of this room. So that is the first entrance room. This is the second entrance room. This one almost has three different stories. So this is the bottom room right over here, where there is this gate over here. And then there is a staircase leading up to this second floor. Here usually also a tree spawns, either an oak, mangrove or cactus. And again, there's two chests over here. And then up here, another vault can spawn as well. And then this is the third entrance room, which is taller than the other two. So here on the bottom, there's the two chests, as you can see right there. And there's a few small rooms down here as well. So then there's also this staircase, which leads up to this first room with another chest. And this staircase spirals up even further, as you can see right here, all the way to the top here, where it can lead off into different parts of the structure. Now there's a second staircase as well, which is behind these copper grates here. So if you go through the copper grates, you get to the bottom of the second staircase, which you can see also leads up to the top of the structure, which is the other side. And here you can again find a vault. But this time there's no vegetation like a tree or a cactus. All right, then we move on to the big corridor. So most of the trial chambers have the big corridors that start with an atrium structure. So these are usually connected to the entrance chamber. And they have this fountain right at the bottom. There's also a staircase that generates over here, which we'll see later on. And there's two murals that generate on either side of the atrium here. And on this side, it just generates into the rest of the corridor. So there's many different types of corridor rooms, which we'll see in a second. But first look at the end of this room. So there's two types of ends. There's end one right over here, which has these staircases on the sides leading up to another room behind it. And of course, here's where the ominous vault generates. And then the other type of end room is this one right over here, where there's a single staircase in the middle and some water on either side. And again, an ominous vault can also generate in this room. So there's these four big pillars, and then it leads onto the other rooms over here. So these are the different types of corridor parts. So these are all just stacked next to each other to form the big corridor. So this is the basic structure of it. Then there's one that has a copper door here at the bottom, leading to another room maybe. And there's one where there's a copper door on the second floor and the other side is completely blocked, as you can see right here. And of course, there's also one where the copper door is at the top. This one's just the mirrored version of the second one, where the copper door is now on that side. This one has a copper door and also a staircase here at the bottom. And here there's a copper door on the third floor and the other part is blocked. And there's also this one where you can find the trial spawners on the second floor. And right here we can see the different types of murals. So there's the bogged mural right over here, which can spawn in the atrium. Then this one is the breeze mural. Then there is the one for the spider, which is actually a little bit taller, as you can see right there, because it needs more space to fit in the entire pixel art. And then there's also this spiral one right over here, which also just looks like a G. And these are the staircases that can generate in the atrium right there. So there's three different types of staircases that can generate there. All right, then there's three intersections you can find inside of the trial chambers. The first one is called uh, intersection one, very original. And it has a lot of water, as you can see right here. This is sort of the water intersection. So it contains three different staircases going in three different directions, as you can see right here. And there's a ladder down to a room with four beds. And then there's also a hidden room behind here where you can find the ominous vault. So that is the first intersection room. Then moving on from this first intersection room, there's this second one. So down at the bottom, it just connects different types of corridors. But there's also a staircase leading up to a second floor where there, again there's four beds and a barrel in this case. And again there is a secret room which is behind this copper grate 
and it's dark in here, but there's a barrel, a crafting table, and another bed along with a small table. And then there is this intersection as well, which is the tallest of the three. And again, it connects the corridors. So at the bottom here, you can see four massive pillars. There's also this copper grate here, which you can again go through to go through different rooms. And then up here, there is three beds with a barrel. And then it even goes further up, as you can see right here. There's more pillars here as well. It's just a very, very tall room right here. So those are the three intersections. Then we move on to the actual chambers over here. So this is the first one over here and it's called assembly. So it is a large room in the trial chamber structure and there can be different types of entrances. So there can be one down here on the bottom, which can lead into this room right here, or you can have one here in the back where you can enter this chamber. And there's also another entrance right over here. Here you find some range spawners along with a breeze spawner as well in this assembly room. And by the number of jigsaw blocks, you can see that quite a few extra things can also generate in this room, also on the ceiling, as you can see right there. And of course, there's also different dispensers that can generate along with the trial spawners and the vaults. As you can see, this is an ominous vault right here. And here you'll find a range spawner. All right, then next is a chamber that has a less original name than assembly. This is just called chamber one. And you can see it's quite an open chamber. There's four potential entrances and so an extra structure usually generates here in the middle if we don't just have the empty room. Then moving on from chamber one, we have chamber two, which is quite similar, except the change is that there is snow on the floor and there's already some pre-generated parts here in the middle. So here you'll find a rain spawner and there is of course these tough brick walls here on the bottom. And then going from chamber one, chamber two, you expect chamber three, but no, this is called chamber four. It's a smaller room where on the bottom you have these copper grates obscuring some of the walkways. And there's a vault here on the bottom as well. And then on the top there is these sort of bridges over the bottom part of the chamber where you can find melee trial spawners. And so in this chamber you won't find any dispensers, but instead you will find decorated pots with the same loot as the pots from the corridors. All right, and now numbering is completely out of the window because from chamber one, two, four, we go to chamber eight right here. It's quite tall and narrow and it has these different ledges every time. So you'll find ranged trial spawners in this trial chamber and three different vaults. And there we go, that's the top of the room. Quite a tall room as you can see right here. If we go through the entire thing, there's quite a few times you can fall down or go up in that room. Next up is a chamber called Eruption. Now this is quite a bit different from the other ones. As you can see, it is not square shaped, but more sort of round or something in between. And this is what Eruption looks like pre-generation. So in the center, you will find magma blocks. And after generation, there will be bridges here on all four sides and spawners in these corners. And so this is quite a cool room. Then we move on to this one right over here. The second to last one is called Pedestal. Again, a large room with lots of pillars in this case. And again, of course, here in the middle, there is a centerpiece that generates after just generating this room. And so that is the pedestal room. And then we'll move on to the final room of the trial chamber structure. And that is one called slanted. So it looks quite similar to the pedestal room, but now the pillars go all the way to the ceiling, as you can see right here. And also an other entire layer of blocks actually generates here afterwards, which you can't see right now. But yeah, this is what the room looks like when it's completely empty. And so there we go. Those are all the rooms that can generate in the trial chamber structure as of Minecraft 1.21. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, then please subscribe.